um, everything I've ever taught in 35 years was this. We finally got it in book form. Best thing I ever wrote in my life. It was the four kinds of kids. Because I realized there's four kinds of people. I don't care, business, school, elementary, college, high school. Your whole life, you met four kinds of people. And it's in Proverbs chapter 1. There's four kinds of people in the Bible. There are wise people. There are simple-minded people. There are foolish people. And there are scornful people. And i got all the scriptures in this book. It's just loaded. We, we've got almost 70 scriptures in this little mini book. What the Bible says about wise people. It's all good. There's not one negative scripture that happens to a wise person. What if you're not wise? You're simple-minded. You're evil? No. You feel the devil? No. You just, you're a doofus. You're a good doofus. I've had kids in school. I had this one kid came to me, I don't know how many times, fifth grade, fifth grade. Third week in a row, he'd come crying every time. I don't know why I can't do what's right, Mr. G. I keep messing up. Sons, because you have no wisdom. You're a doofus. And you can't keep coming down here because the first time a kid would come to my office, I did the same thing every time. Number one, I had a picture of me in the first grade, Hickson Elementary. There's 32 kids first grade. Miss Morgan was my teacher. All the boys have bird haircuts. All the girls had dresses. When an old, ancient, should have burned down public school. So I hung a $5 bill, take that picture. The kids come to my office. They come in and say, what's that? If you can pick me out of that picture, I'll give you that $5 bill. Now, teachers will send them down to, become, to get swapped because we can still swap in Oklahoma. It's still legal in my state. Switch, swap, paddle, and spank. Parents have to sign permission slip. So, so I had two paddles in my office based on your size. The first time you come to my office, they're always crying, messed up, or sometimes they're arrogant. I said, what are you doing here? Well, teacher sent me down here to get swat or expelled. I said, well, what'd you do? And they'll tell me something. And I said, well, come on back here in the kitchen. And so what? Come in the kitchen. So in the kitchen, I, I ordered donuts every morning. My, my staff loved donuts. I had a big old staff. And so me, I love chocolate donuts. There's only one donut's chocolate. If it's not chocolate, it's not a donut. It's something fake. And so I take it back and get you two chocolate donuts and get you a Pepsi out of the refrigerator and come back to my office. So we sit in my office. Now, they've sent them down here for me to swat them. And I did this for 10 years. What are you going to do? Have a donut. Drink your Pepsi. See if you can pick me out of that picture. I'll let you win $5. Uh, and I start talking to my son. The reason you're down here is because you have no wisdom. That's why you're sitting here. You're simple-minded. Uh, I just figure you don't know any better. Somebody had to explain to you about the rules in this school and in your classroom. So I'm sure the teacher says, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you the second set of rules. Here they are. They're on the wall down there in your classroom because I'm the principal. I know what's down there. I need you to do this and not do this. Are we good? And we'll eat the donuts. We'll tell some jokes. We'll guess the $5 bill. I'll hug his neck, send him back to class. And on the way out there, I said, now listen, son, the second time you come down here, if you come again, there'll be no donuts and no Pepsi. You don't get to guess the $5 bill, and I'm going to lift you off the floor because I'm going to bust the hound out of you. It's legal. <laughs> and some would. Some would show back up, and they'd like, I'm back. Well, bless your heart. No donut today. <laughs>